Hi all of you, welcome back to yet another video. Let me show you a Rust programming language in that we're going to build an ERC20 token. So this is the smart contract I have written in Rust programming and it has all the features which you generally find in any ERC20 token we write when we use the sorted programming language so i'll give you a quick overview although i'm not going to get into details in the technicality that how you can create because if you don't know rush programming language then it's going to be a totally nightmare for you because we have totally different syntax different structure when it's come to rush programming a uh, rush is really really very fast if you want to build your smart contract on solana then rust is the option for you to write your smart contract so the very first thing we have to define is that if i come back here in the turn more extension so here you have to declare all the libraries which you want to use in your contract so in my case i'm using this ink lang ink storage and ink core so these are the three library we are using we have multiple library like if you take about the osla ethereum that one is the another library which we use we have multiple version of that so if you want to use for the storage we have that one if you want to use for the linkage we have that we have a lot of libraries which you can simply check for creating a smart contract in rust programming so come back here and let me show you so the very first thing that i have imported the library and here you can see that here we have the contract we have given the name and we have declared a couple of variables so this is the struct we have defined that what we want to exactly keep in our struct so it's going to be quite similar it's not something out of the box if you know salty smart contract development if you guys have followed the complete playlist i have then it would be very easy for you to understand that what exactly is happening so we it's a public struct we have this struct it's a transfer struct this is the approval struct and here we have a couple of methods so this one is the constructor and we have this total supply we have the balance of we have the transfer we have approve and if i come back here here we have the transfer from and this one is the allowance transfer internal and we have the test so it's quite simpler i don't want to extend this video i just want to give you a quick idea that how you can write the smart contract and how the structures look like again if you guys are interested in rush programming if you want me to build any project or write smart contract from scratch where i can show you that how you can build a smart contract using rust if you are interested in solana smart contract development then do let me know in the comment section definitely i'll try to make it and uh, just let me know that how many of you know rush programming then it would be very easy for me to take the path so whether i have to start from the rush programming language or i should start straight away with the smart contract development or the for the project so that's i want to know from all of you guys i just wanted to give you that how the smart contract looks when it's come to the rush programming language so that's why i made this short video so you guys can have a quick overview that even you can write smart contract using the rust programming language and by the way if you guys want this source code of this particular smart contract so you guys can have a look do let me know in the comment section so i'll post this in the discord server so you can get it from there and do let me know that how many of you know rust programming language in the comments so i can get that idea